Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Bring Home the Flavor. My name is Adam Durnford, and today we're talking about cod tongues. Now I know what you're thinking, cod tongues, ew, gross, but if they're prepared right, they're quite good. It has become one of those foods that were eaten out of necessity, but over the years people have become to, or have come to love it. And people used to go down to the docks and scrounge up what they could. The Atlantic cod used to be a symbol of prosperity and economic growth. But over the years, the stocks kind of dwindled, and then it became more of a, uh, of a debate, desperation, and it caused animosity, and it's just been a, a hard time for Newfoundland and the cod fishery, because Newfoundlanders. But it still remains one of our most prized fish. It's the Atlantic cod. Now, the Atlantic cod always had every bit of it used, right up to the head, the cheeks, and what I'm going to show you today, the tongues. Cod tongues have become a delicacy over the years, and you see it pop up in fine dining restaurants and such, but I feel that the best way to enjoy it, if you're going to enjoy it, especially for the first time, is pan-fried with some scrunchies. Scrunchies are pork fat, if you're wondering. So anyway, here's the recipe. Alright folks, it's time to get these cod tongues on the go. You can check out the recipe in the description below. First, we're going to start off with our uh, mixture of flour and salt, pepper, all that stuff. Whisk it away. Whisk it up. Sorry. Next, we're going to heat up the scrunchies in the frying pan at uh, medium high heat. Take your cod tongues and roll them around in a little flour mixture. Get them nice and well coated. And then we're going to bring them over to the frying pan and drop those suckers in you want to see the sizzle real well. You can throw some flour in there to test it out first. A little sprinkle. Okay, once they're nice and brown on one side, you see them all dancing around in the pan just like that. Flip them all over. You want them brown and crispy. Once they're all crisped up on both sides, you can just remove them from the pan. Test them if you want. If they feel a little firm, that means they're done. That's how I test them anyway. I don't know if that's the proper thing. And here's a little cut of what it should look like once it's done. You don't want it too overcooked. So I hope you enjoy and get crunching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you did. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting videos like this weekly. You can uh, hit that bell icon to get notifications every time I post. And I have all my social medias in the description, as well as the recipe, and a link to my cookbook, which is only $2.50 Canadian. So get yourself a copy. There's lots of great recipes in there. There's links to videos, all that fun stuff, and I'll be hosting like, live chats if we can sell enough copies. And then I want to make an interactive cookbook. Anyway, I know I'll uh, leave some more details at the link below. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you again.